Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there are <laughs> three about... free form, not chaos. Free form. <laughs> yeah. We need about five more months to sort of sum these things up. But the principles are sort of there. And I think one of the difficulties is making it a board game, but I think we we kept trying different forms and it was a board game we seemed to like the most. And it's really to do with um, well, we called it the Castle of Chaos, but it's to do with um, a quest. So creating a quest for um, qualitative understanding, qualitative information. So I think we ended up thinking how we could, maybe using this as a reinforcing game. So having delivered a lecture, but using this afterwards to reinforce that knowledge, because I think that was one of our stumbling blocks. Um, we obviously enjoyed creating it, um, so we have um, Lord Facile and we have um, facilitators like the librarian and the hermit. So one of our concerns was actually having students do this, whether in groups or in pairs or whatever, that they would need some sort of facilitation because they are supposed to go on their quest and again, we, we kind of got this because that was the template, but I think we ended up thinking in terms of a circle might work better for this particular game. The idea being you land on a particular area, and at that a particular point you can um, answer a question for treasure. So you have things like the Sword of Justice, the Scales of... No, the Sword of... What was the Sword of Justice? <laughs> <laughs> and the Scales of Justice and the... Um, Gasmals. 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 Filter, of filter of... Yeah. Something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the idea is that it can be played probably, maximum is, is maybe a group of 20 and the most important thing being discussion. So when they land on an area and they bid for, they're having a discussion to bid for a particular, um, I suppose, gaming chip, the idea being at the end of the process they should have all four, we've missed one off there, I can't remember what that one should be, money maybe. But these are the tools that they would need to um, um, Vanguard, the Lord of Ignorance and, and the Castle of Chaos, that would be the end result. But one of our things was actually the discussion was the most important thing and that's where we kept coming back to the facilitator of some type. It wouldn't necessarily run by itself. Um, so again, whether you would have a physical wise old hermit, aka librarian, or whether you would ask them to log into a particular online tutorial or lecture or ask somebody online. Um, whether they had the correct answer because it because it's quite not fact driven and you didn't we didn't want it to be multiple choice because that kind of debased what we were trying to do here which was just be a little bit more critical and evaluative which you know it's quite often doesn't have a, a right or wrong answer but the discussion of those areas were, were probably the most important things so that's kind of where we got stuck um, and I think we're probably trying to make the structure fit the problem but that's what we're trying with all the different models so not entirely happy with it but it it has sort of potential I think what we kind of want to do but I think we're even talking about running it as a, a longer term project um, the principles being to to just get people a little bit more engaged in the topic in a fun way and that that was the other danger with this I think that we were doing things that were not particularly fun so that's kind of where we are at the moment. Thank you. Any questions or comments on that? Yeah. I'd just like to say then, although you say it's sort of chaotic still, it's fantastic to finish on something that's really concentrating on those higher end critical thinking skills. That's brilliant.